Welcome back to Primetime News. A special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. From recent protests against criminal gangs to calls across the region for the death penalty, Prime Minister Andrew Holness believes Jamaica is now at a turning point in the fight against crime. While not outrightly supporting the call for the resumption of hanging, the Prime Minister has acknowledged that more needs to be done. Sandy Williams reports. When Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, called for the resumption of the death penalty across the region, Jamaicans, frustrated with the crime situation, voiced their support. Then an unprecedented protest in West Kingston against gang activity further indicated the frustration. The people of Jamaica are tired of them. Tired of them. And what you are seeing coming out now in a country like Jamaica, where the normal tendency is to forgive and to be sympathetic because these are poor youths. What you get from the public these days is that they should get the death penalty. They should hang. The Prime Minister was speaking at the handing over of three social housing units in central Kingston on Friday. He theorizes that part of the shift comes as the perpetrators are no longer poor youths trying to get by, but well-funded criminal terrorists. It's said by our intelligence reports that some of these high-powered weapons are in the region of 500,000 to 800,000. Very expensive. Which poor youth can afford that? And which poor youth in his right mind would get that amount of money and take it to go buy a gun? They don't mean anybody any good. They don't deserve the freedoms that law-abiding citizens have. And so he believes the protests and calls signify the coming change. And that is a starting point for change in Jamaica. We can now safely say that the communities don't support the criminals. That the communities, if they could feel a high level of confidence, they would share more information. Despite the calls for the death penalty, however, Mr. Holness admits that change may not happen anytime soon. No, we don't want to create a brutal society. That's not what we want to create. We don't want to do that. And I, whilst I understand the call, I also want to remind our citizenry that we are always good and sympathetic people who understand the issues. But the situation has reached this point now where we understand what you are saying that the government needs to take serious actions against these criminal terrorists. Sandy Williams, TVJ News.